Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben and today I will show you some little tricks you can use to improve your Quest 2 performance, including the 90Hz refresh rate. As always, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell to stay up to date, follow my Facebook page and buy your games at low prices clicking the link in the description to Instant Gaming website. Ok, let's go. What is it side quest? It's a free interface that allows you to add games and apps directly to your Quest or Quest 2. In few words, you can see SideQuest as a game library. You can find games and more to put in your Quest 2 like you do from Oculus library. But SideQuest, it's not just a simple library, because it allows you to do more things with your Quest, and here I would try to show you in the simpler way as I can. Before you can use SideQuest though, you need to activate the developer mode. Simply follow the link in the description, create your business name on Oculus site, then go to the Oculus app on your phone and activate the developer mode on Quest or Quest 2. The procedure is the same for both devices. Once you're done, follow the link in the description to download and install SideQuest and register with your Oculus or Facebook account. After that, you can connect Quest 2 to your PC via cable first and install ADB driver only if you are Windows user. Follow the link in the description to download ADB driver, install on your PC. For more information, you can find a full video on how to activate developer mode and install ADB driver. At this point, you can use SideQuest to change some setting on your Quest or Quest 2. Connect the headset via cable, open SideQuest and wait for this little point become green which means that your device has been recognized correctly. Now you have full access to your headset. Using SideQuest interface, you can install games and apps and install directly to your Quest with a simple click. There are free and pay games and apps, but there are also some special features. The first is this one. The wireless mode. Click on this icon and you can disconnect the cable from your PC and access to your headset via Wi-Fi. You can use all the function as if you are connected via cable, even the streaming feature from headset to PC. SideQuest makes installing ADB files easy thanks to this icon. If you have ADB drivers or APK apps on your PC that you want to install on your headset, just click this icon, select the file from your PC, open it and it's done. You will find the app on your Oculus library after the installation. This icon lets you browse inside your headset from your PC, so you can manage files using your mouse and keyboard and transfer files from PC to the headset and vice versa. This icon simply shows all the apps and games actually installed on your Quest and of course you can manage from your PC. You can install, modify and uninstall games and apps with a couple of clicks. And now let's check the coolest feature on SideQuest. This branch icon is super cool. Clicking on it, you have access to many interesting features that improve the performance of your Quest, Quest 2 and Oculus Go. This simply opens the folder on your PC where the APK and ADB files are stored, just if you need to add or modify. And now this the refresh rate. Simply by clicking on these buttons, you can set the refresh rate at 72 or 90 Hz. Remember that this function is not working on Oculus Link yet, neither on any other USB cable, so use only via wireless. With this feature, you can turn on or off the chromatic aberration on all games or just select those specific games where you want to enable it. This function allows you to turn on or off the Guardian, which is the virtual walls that define your play area, but I recommend you to not turn it off when you play dynamic games. For sure, you already know you can record videos directly from your headset using the internal recorder, but videos are squared and a 30 FPS. Activating the fuel rate capture, you will be able to capture videos at 60 or 72 FPS rather than 30. Remember that this will increase the dimension of the video files, taking more space on the storage, so be sure you have enough space and don't store videos on your internal memory but I suggest you to transfer on your PC. If writing long text and password with your controllers bothers you, this function will allow you to use your keyboard to type long text fast and send to your headset just like a message. The FFR feature can highly improve quality or performance. It's the fixed foveated rendering and it's essentially the image render quality on the edge of the lenses. 
low settings improve image quality, high settings improve performance, but it will defocus the image on the edges of the lenses, simulating the peripheral view of your eyes. This function will automatically reset every time you reboot your headset. As I said before, videos captured with internal recorder are squared and at 30 fps, but with this feature you can set a higher resolution up to full HD. But this will not change the bitrate capture, so even if at 1080, videos will always be on low mid quality. This is to save as much space as possible on your internal storage. There is a feature that allows you to change the bitrate, but it works on Oculus Go only. CPU and GPU levels can improve performance on games and to the apps, but it will push a lot your Quest 2 hardware, so I suggest to not use it for long session or not use it at all. Same thing for the texture sides. This function push the render quality of the texture in game and of course will stress your Quest 2 hardware. So use it wisely and I suggest to not use the highest levels. Least but no less, the streaming feature works via cable and via wireless and it allows you to stream directly on your PC. Simply click on this icon, see the values that fit with your screen and start the streaming. The result on your screen is not so great deal because it will show both eyes when you set on widescreen or a single eye but at the center of the screen. You cannot freely set the resolution or the dimension of the image and you have to play some with the settings to match with your screen. First two parameters are for the resolution, the other two are for the position on the screen, so play with this parameter until you find the best for your PC. If you want to stream from Quest 2 to your TV without any problems and with few simple steps, just follow this guide even if you don't have a smart TV. Well, that's all from Ben, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, ciao ragazzi!